What's up guys? Welcome to the Komar Project and this channel is dedicated all to you by showing you that you can make and build stuff all by yourself. If I can do it, so can you. I got a brand new shop downstairs that needs all the electrical, so let's go shopping and get everything we need and then start installing it. Welcome to my experience. Alright, alright, let's go shopping and spend some money. I hit up my big box store and started grabbing everything that I thought I would need. It turned out to be one of many trips. I got 100 feet of 12-2 armored solid metal clad wire for the outlets that are hard to reach with the conduit and 14-2 for the can lights. And of course, a couple of spools of 12 gauge wire. Connectors for half inch conduit and a bunch of 3 8 clamp connectors for the armored cable. And electrical boxes, lots and lots of electrical boxes. To go with those electrical boxes, I got 30 outlets and contractor packs. And that wasn't even enough. I think I installed a total of 33 20 amp outlets and one 220 outlet for a future table saw upgrade. And last but not least, I grabbed 100 feet of half inch conduit. For the lighting, I went with eight six inch LED cans that are IC rated. I'm gonna be insulating the ceiling to knock down some of the noise from the kids running around upstairs, so I needed something that won't overheat that easily. They are specifically made to be airtight and tested to be installed where the ceilings or joy space is insulated. Now I'm laying out my outlets 18 inches from the floor since this is a basement. It's not necessary, but wanted to get a little bit higher off the floor. To install the can lighting is super easy. You can use the nail that they provide you on those extension arms or just the drywall screw like I did here. Now the hard work begins, at least for me. I used a one and a half inch Forstner bit to drill all of my two by fours, making sure that I stay at least an inch and a half from the edge of the two by four where the drywall is gonna be installed. Installing conduit is not as easy as it looks. I've seen electricians breeze through this but for me, it was a little bit more difficult trying to figure out the angles and where to bend the pipe. You may say I suck at this, but after messing up about a half a dozen times, I got the hang of it. This just takes practice and there's no way of getting around it. When cutting the conduit, you're gonna get really rough edges and if not cleaned up, you might slice your wires when you're pulling it. So to clean it up, I got a reamer. This one's made by Klein, and I'll put a link down in the description. And you're just gonna ream that pipe, ream it real good. And that will take all those little shards off for you, and you're safe to install. When installing, I just use the screwdriver to punch out the electrical box knockouts. And then, just put your conduit connector through the knockout and tighten everything down. Just make sure that that ring is nice and tight and then you're good to go. And as always, make sure you find time to mess with your dog or your cat or your hamster, or whatever floats your boat. Okay, now to get serious. The clad wire can be a little bit tricky. Bend, break, cut, strip, but the most important part with this is to make sure that you're installing that anti-short bushing so that the sharp edges don't cut your wire and then you get a short. Then you take your 3 8 clamp connector, put the wire with the bushing through it, and tighten two screws on the sides, which is gonna tighten down that clamp for you. Running the clad wire from the cane was super easy, especially since I left notches in the joists when I furred down the ceiling to match up with the existing electrical that was installed by the builder. There you can see the notches. Connecting the wire to the can is just like connecting conduit to the boxes. First, you cut the connectors off the wires in that box because you just don't need them. Push out the knockout with a screwdriver, put your wire through, and tighten it. Again, make it real tight.
Now this was a treat for me. My old man took the day off from work, come by and give me a hand. As I get older, I appreciate the time I spend with him more and more. It wasn't always this way, but these days, I love spending every minute with him. Plus, he's a really good electrician and he wired up a bunch of my lights. Speaking of electricians, the next day I came home from work and guess who was down in the basement? Say hi, Frank. <laughs> this is my electrician who's helping me with checking everything and making sure I don't burn the house down. Right, Frank? Right. Frankie wired up the rest of my cans that my dad didn't get to, which was connecting white to white, black to black, and green if you ran it with clad wiring. Kind of easy. Then he helped me pull all the wire from the electrical panel to the outlet boxes. I can't let Frankie leave without installing my six new 20 amp breakers. This was something I've been dreading doing, but he made it look super simple. So you neutral wire goes anywhere on the ground bar in your panel. And your power wire gets connected to the breaker and tightened with the breaker screw. We always have fun together. He makes it look so simple. Done? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's awesome having a friend that's an electrician. A couple weeks later, drywall was installed and I couldn't wait to put in the outlets. So I did one quickly just to show you guys a trick that Frankie taught me. Instead of connecting the new outlets to the wires that you ran, you make these four to six inch wire connectors to make things easier to wire up. Connect your neutral, typically the white wire, to the silver screw and the power wire to the gold screw. Tape up the outlet using electrical tape and connect all the neutral wires together and all the power wires together. Put on the wire nuts and shove it right in that box. Wait, wait, don't shove it in the box. Be careful when doing this. You don't want anything to come apart and get a short. I guess there's a safety benefit to doing this as well, but I was so excited getting this outlet in, getting some power that I wasn't really paying attention to what Frankie was saying. I can finally plug stuff in. And that's how you install an outlet. Right, Frank? Right. Yeah. So the electrical's pretty much done. Well, almost done. I still have to wire in the outlets and trim the light fixtures, but other than that, I'm done. I probably went overkill on some of the outlets and how many I put, but guess what? I'd rather have more than less. It is a shop, right? So if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up button. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, put those down below. And also don't forget to subscribe so I can keep putting these videos out in the future. This is an awesome experience for me. I learned a lot and I couldn't have done it without your guys' support and the support of my family and friends. Thank you for watching my experience. We'll see you next time.